This is the story of Ava Eben. Ava was born and grew up in a small town in Hungary. She had one brother named Tibor. She grew up with him and all her cousins. Up until the Nazis invaded her town in 1944, before that life was quite normal, she went to school, she went to the movies, and she hung out with her friends. One of her cousins was like her sister. Her name was Vera. In 1944, the Nazis invaded her town. They took her and her family to a concentration camp on a train cattle car. At the concentration camp, they got split up from her family. There was a man pointing to either side. She had to go to the left with her cousin. Her parents were told to go to the right, and her mom got shot. Ava did not know that, though. At the camp, they got limited food. They ate raw potato skins. They had to sleep in beds with four people. And if one person wanted to sleep on a different side, they all had to sleep on that same side. That went on for a long time. Eventually, the Nazi soldiers who were guarding the camp, making sure they did not escape, ran away because the Allies were going to save the people in the camp. Ava did not want to stay in Hungary anymore because she did not have a home. But thankfully for her, she got an invitation from an organization called HIVES. It stands for Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. The organization provides services like homes to refugees. That organization made her want to immigrate to the U.S. She was excited because it opened a promising career as a doctor, which was always her dream. She was brave and immigrated all alone because the rest of her family, like her cousins, went to Israel. At that time, she had just found out that her father was in the hospital and had died from an illness. She came on a large boat with other immigrants, and it took two weeks to arrive. She only got to bring a few things. She brought her valuables, like jewelry. As soon as she arrived in the U.S., she became a doctor after six years of medical school. She was nervous because the U.S. was totally different from Hungary. They spoke a different language, the shops were different, the food was different, and the weather was different. After she got adjusted to everything, she got married and had four kids. She spent the rest of her life in the U.S. Nowadays, she has 23 grandchildren and 49 great-grandchildren.